Hey everybody, welcome back to Easy Cooking with Gary. Today at our house is going to be Nacho Tuesday. We love nachos. At just about every restaurant in town that we go to, and they have nachos on appetizer, chicken or beef nachos, we always order. And our favorite nachos of any place we go is at Chili's Restaurant Grill and Bar. They, To me, they have the best nachos. Most nachos you'll find are just chips and they put the the meat over it and cheese sauce and jalapenos and it's right there and you just eat it like this the way uh chili's does it they have individual nachos already made and you just pick one up and eat it and i'm doing that copycat recipe today my version of it so let's get started on it i've got rotisserie chicken that are shredded i've added a diced onion to it and i always use my jalapeno garlic seasoning and everything so I got about four or five cups right here. I'm gonna put that in a pan. Put this over here on about medium high heat. To that, I've got a package of taco seasoning right there. I mixed it with three quarter cup of water. Pour it in there. I'm gonna mix this up and reduce it down where the liquid is all gone. Now back here on the back burner, I've got some a can of traditional refried beans. I've added my garlic jalapeno seasoning, I mean no, the cayenne pepper to it, and I've got cheese in it. So I've got this stirred up. This is already warmed up. I'm going to let that continue to, to warm up. While this right here is cooking, come back over here. I've got tostado shells. They're uh, corn tortilla chips. Let me see, that's... I'm going to put three of them on here. And this is going to make 12 nachos. Now, I've got a little bit of salt right here. We love salt on our corn chips, so make sure that has some on it. Okay. Okay, while this is still cooking, I'm going to take the beans. Now these beans, I put cayenne pepper in it, and I got some cheese on top of it. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put some on each tostado here. Okay, I've got a knife and I'm just going to spread these around. Just smearing them on here. Okay. All right. Now let's see how the meat is doing. Well, most of that water is gone. Mm 
Okay. I think that is good there. Now we're going to come back over here. I got a spoon. I'm going to spoon some of this on top of it. One thing about making these on your own, you can add as much meat or beans to it as you want. Put a little bit more on this one. Okay. Some more right there. Okay, now we're going to top these with the, I've got Mexican style cheese, three, three cheese here. Got our jalapenos. We're gonna put these on there. We're gonna put one on each corner. When when they come back, we're gonna put them in the a broiler and broil this. Once that cheese melted, then we're gonna come back with our pizza cutter and cut these. Did my wife get into one of these jalapenos? Because I could have swore I had 12. I think she did. I think she did. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to put this in the broiler. I got, got it on broil. And I'm, all I'm going to do is put it in there till the cheese melts. Okay, these right here, they wasn't in there but just a couple of minutes on roll. Let me get that off there. Now, I've got a pizza cutter. When we buy them at, at Chili's, they look just like this, except they don't have quite as much meat as we have on them. Okay. Now this is the finished product right there. The way this is the way they serve it with some pico and some sour cream on the side. 
And let me go back to the, the refried beans that I told you I was going to use. I just used a regular can of old El Paso traditional beans. I added cayenne pepper to it and some cheese to it. Okay, so now, I know they're still hot. Take some. I'm going to add a little bit of salsa here on top of it. Let's go. Mm. Well, I could do a happy dance. <laughs> I could eat this every night. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm. That is real good. Mm. We have not made it with beef. We've always made it with uh, chicken because we're always, once a week I buy rotisserie chicken from Sam's and I use it for different things. So, well, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video. If you do, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to it. So we'll talk to you all on the next one. Happy Nacho Tuesday. <laughs>